Welcome to the fifth episode of Go Glendora for 2014. I'm Craig Gill. On each episode, we go throughout Glendora and highlight city-sponsored events and activities. From time to time, we also inform you about city projects and programs. On this episode, we'll recap the latest Community Recognition Awards, provide an update on the Avalon Bay Mixed Use Project at the corner of Glendora Avenue and Route 66, visit the Community Build Day at Gladstone Park, and finally, our Information Systems Department will provide a technology report on how to access Wi-Fi at city facilities. First, let's recap the latest Community Recognition Awards, which are presented by City Council. The Glendora City Council recently held their Community Recognition Awards for the third quarter of 2014. Mayor Judy Nelson, Mayor Pro Tem Karen Davis, and Councilmember Joe Santoro were on hand to conduct the awards presentation. This event is an opportunity to give recognition to specific individuals and groups in the community for extraordinary service and contributions. Recognition of Outstanding Glendora Residents for the third quarter of 2014 included Community Appreciation Awards, recognizing outstanding residential and commercial properties in the areas of landscaping, renovation, and overall appearance. The properties are chosen by a beautification nomination panel as well as residents who nominated their neighbors for making improvements to their property. Police Chief Tim Staub and Officer Mike Howell presented Nicole Charlebois a certificate of recognition for assisting Glendora Police with a 12-year-old autistic boy who had become lost. Nicole has worked with autistic children and recognized the boy as being autistic. She helped get the young boy to the police station and stayed with him assisting the officers to keep him calm until his parents were located. Nicole was commended for her exemplary actions. Greg Gillum, a member of the Kiwanis Club and Police Auxiliary, presented a check to the Glendora Police Department to help pay for two new automatic external defibrillators to be used by Police Auxiliary. Thank you to the Kiwanis Club for their donation. Glendora resident Heather Dennison was recognized for being crowned Mrs. California America 2014. Heather has her master's degree in teaching and is a fifth grade teacher in San Gabriel. She also volunteers for Best Friends Animal Society and Mentor Connect, an organization which helps young women fighting eating disorders. She will represent California in the 2014 Mrs. America pageant. Congratulations, Heather. Next, individuals and groups who donated their time and resources to Glendora's Adopt-A-Park program were also recognized. Contributions included restoring and painting the Lion Drinking Fountain at Gladstone Park by Jessica Rubido, benches painted at Finkbeiner Park by Keller Williams Realty, a bench donated at Oleammer Park by Helping Faces Incorporated, and the planting of 250 trees by Boy Scout Troop 498. The trees were donated by Southern California Edison. In addition, the Morales family and John Geddes donated western redbud trees at Finkbeiner Park. Stella Fott donated a western redbud tree at South Hills Park. Shirley O'Brien donated a coast live oak tree at Big Tree Park. Lisa Morris donated a bench which was installed at Finkbeiner Park. Volunteers from Glendora Stake, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, planted over 1,000 plants and six trees throughout the community. And Sandra Fahey donated a California black oak tree, which will be planted near the new Gladstone Park playground to be built in September. To learn more about the Adopt-A-Park program, contact the Glendora Community Services Department at 914-8228. The awards culminated with the nonprofit committee known as Glendora Yellow Ribbon. This committee recognizes military men and women who have finished their tour of duty. Vladimir Kalmakov, Kirk Kinsey, Jay Martin, Kimberly Simmons, Sean Stacy, Raymond Torres Jr., and John C. Beamer IV were all honored for their service to our country. Congratulations to all those who were recognized at the Third Quarter Community Recognition Awards for 2014. Next, here's an update on the Avalon Bay Mixed Use Project being constructed at the corner of Glendora Avenue and Route 66. 
the City of Glendora Planning Department staff recently took a tour of the construction activity at the new Avalon Bay mixed-use project on the corner of Glendora Avenue and Route 66. When completed, this mixed-use project will provide 280 market-rate apartments and 4,000 square feet of retail and commercial space. The project will also provide prospective residents with three courtyards, a swimming pool, fitness facility, and lounge areas. Construction of the six-level parking structure is moving near completion, with crews hard at work applying finishing coating and paint to the interior. Elsewhere on the site, the new pool courtyard is beginning to take shape, as is framing for the third floor of the apartment building. Work on the framing for the retail area along Glendora Avenue has begun, as has framing for the fitness area. When complete, the three to four story apartment building will wrap around the parking structure. Next steps include demolition of the adjacent Glendora Tire and Brake Center and continued framing and construction of the apartment building and retail area. For more information about this project, please visit the city's website or contact the planning department at 626-914-8214. Now, let's visit the Community Build Day at Gladstone Park and find out more about this volunteer event. In October of 2013, the City of Glendora received a $20,000 Let's Play construction grant from Kaboom and Dr. Pepper Snapple Group to build a dream playground for the youth of Glendora. This playground would replace the city's oldest playground located at Gladstone Park. In order to build this amazing new play structure, help was needed. The Glendora Community Services Department called on volunteers from the community. On Saturday, September 6th, hundreds of Glendora residents came out to the Community Build Day to construct a new pirate-themed playground which was chosen by the community. In addition, volunteers also painted park benches, designed and painted murals, planted shrubs, laid new sod, poured concrete, and spread mulch around the playground and park area. The day kicked off with a briefing by team leaders who provided direction on each team's assignment. Then, volunteers stretched their muscles in preparation for the build. Teams of volunteers were assigned to different workstations throughout the park. From approximately 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., Glendorans of all ages came together to transform Gladstone Park. Volunteers included members of service clubs, high school football players, travel softball teams, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, council members, commissioners, city staff, Glendora residents, and many more. Throughout the day, the playground began to take shape, culminating with a ribbon cutting at the end of the construction process. There were also activities for kids whose parents were hard at work renovating the park. Music was provided to keep the energy at a high level throughout the day and there were also raffle prizes awarded to a number of lucky volunteers. Lunch was provided with a menu including Sam's Club hot dogs and pizza, Subway sandwiches, and snacks. The Community Services Department would like to thank all the sponsors including Kaboom, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, The Crave, Glendora Community Hospital, Athens Services, Classic Coffee, Corner Bakery, Foothill Presbyterian Hospital, Glendora Cafe and Bakery, Kohl's, Playwell Technologies, Sam's Club, Starbucks, Subway, and Wells Fargo Bank for their support of this great project. Stop by Gladstone Park to experience the new pirate-themed playground and the other amenities the park has to offer, thanks to all the hard work by hundreds of volunteers who participated in the Community Build Day. If you are interested in volunteering in the city of Glendora, Contact the Community Services Department at 626-914-8228 for more information. Finally, in our technology report, we'll show you how to access Wi-Fi at city facilities. Hi, my name is Matt Jester, Information Systems Supervisor for the City of Glendora. I'm here to get you caught up on the latest technology advancements in the city. Did you know that the city offers free Wi-Fi service at many of its locations? Wi-Fi is currently available at City Hall, the Public Library, 
and our brand new location, the Crowther Teen and Family Center. If you'd like to use this service, here's how you connect. Please make sure that Wi-Fi access is enabled on your laptop or mobile device. Look for the name Glendora City Wi-Fi and connect to that network. Once connected, you will be presented with a Terms of Service page that will look something like this. If you are agreeable to the terms, please click I agree and you are free to start surfing. We hope that you enjoy the use of this free service. City of Glendora's current Wi-Fi hours are Monday through Wednesday, 6.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. and Thursday through Saturday from 6.30 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Please check out future episodes of Go Glendora for technology updates throughout the city. That will do it for this episode. For more information about upcoming events and activities, as well as community information, visit the city's website and like us on Facebook. We'll see you next time.